Hi, welcome to my channel, So Cool Creations. Stay tuned to find out the winner of the Valentine giveaway. In this video, I will be showing you how to make some ties with hidden messages on the back for your special day or any occasion. So I have already typed up the text and made the design. Now I'm just printing it out. You want to turn off the ad bleed. This is the transfer paper I use. It's the Avery Light transfer paper. If it's light transfer paper, you want to be sure to mirror the design. And this is a Canon inkjet photo printer. You can use any inkjet printer. Links to the supplies I use can be found in the description box. This is cotton polyester fabric. I'm just lint rolling it. Cutting out my designs. And I have this blank template on Etsy. That is also linked in the description. Now it's on 350 and I'm heat pressing it for 20 seconds. Firm pressure. I'm going to wait for it to cool down and while it's cooling, I'm going to cut it. Let it cool before peeling. It has to be completely cooled before peeling. And make sure as you're peeling, be very careful. I have these pinking shears from Amazon. They came in a two pack. They have the round wavy design and the zigzag. I'm going to be using the wave design. And if you're liking this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more crafting tutorials. They make the heart have a beautiful round wave edge. Go slowly when cutting it out. Now they're ready to sew onto our ties. Here I am threading the needle. Line up the heart with the tie. And again, if you want my blank heart template, you can get it on my Etsy. Link is in the description box below. And I'll slow it down for you in a minute, but as I'm sewing, then I'm not going all the way through the tie because I don't want to see the sew lines on the front of the tie. So here it is, sewing the message onto the tie in real time. I usually like to do two to three stitches at a time. And the tan thing I'm using to hold the needle is called a needle gripper. And I'll do it slowly again for you. Again, I'm putting it in and I'm not going all the way through the tie because I don't want to see the sew lines on the front of the tie. I want it to just look like a normal tie from looking at it on the front. And this needle gripper makes it so much easier. The needle gripper really helps the needle to not slide out from under you. It helps you grip it really good and control the needle. Links to all the supplies are down below. thread gets caught just pull it back and then pull it through again so now I'm going to finish going all the way around the heart
and I, as I'm sewing, I'm trying to stay along the blue line. Now I'm just going all the way around and then I did the silver tie and the silky thread works a lot, goes through a lot smoother. The link to the silky thread is in the description box below. The silver tie was a lot faster because I used the silky thread. And they're done. So from the front they just look like a normal tie and then on the back. This bride wanted one for her husband, her dad, and her father-in-law. Thank you so much for watching So Cool Creations. They turned out so cute. What would you make a hidden message tie for? Leave a comment down below. And now for the Valentine giveaway. In this cute little vending machine, I have all of those who entered to win. Let's shake it up and let's see whose name. I got the cute little vending machine from Dollar Tree for anyone wondering. They had red and pink. And congratulations at Ruth, you are the winner of the Make It Miniverse Valentine giveaway.